Welcome to video 183 in series 3 and now I'm going to edit the spawner proximity script so that way waypoints are assigned to instantiated NPCs automatically. Now currently the scene of course has these NPCs filling up the hierarchy but if you have lots and lots of NPCs you don't want that so uh, I thought I should show you at least how to edit the spawner proximity script so that you can then automatically assign waypoints to instantiated NPCs. And it really is very, very simple. Uh, so coming to the spawner proximity script, it's inside the enemy scripts folder. So it's a, it's a very old script. First of all, just drag it into the general scripts folder. That's where it should belong now. And then open it up. Okay, let's do a really quick recap of how this script works. And uh, you can see the variables here, the object to spawn, that's the NPC in this case. How many of them to spawn? Uh, how far does the player need to be? That's the proximity. Then you have your check rate and next check because I'm doing stuff in update. And uh, then just a reference to the, this transform, a reference to the player's transform and then a vector 3 spawn position where to spawn the NPC. Uh, so basically in set initial references, some references are established, especially to the player, and just a random uh, check rate, which is used uh, for the update, since this check distance happens in update, and doing vector 3.distance every single frame is not, uh, is not a great idea for something as unimportant as a spawner. So I mean, we can easily use a check rate for something uh, not so important like that. And so what I do is, yep, if the player comes close, then the spawn objects method gets called, and then the number of um, NPCs or whatever it is to spawn will then get spawned at a random inside unit sphere position, so some position at the spawner plus a random a vector, a random vector, yeah, basically, uh, around that spawn position and then instantiate that um, uh, NPC or object or whatever it is. Uh, so that's what happens right now. And as you know, you need to assign the waypoints manually to the NPC so that it will go to those waypoints. But what if we don't want that? What if we want to automatically do it? So it's not complicated. First of all, add a new variable, public transform an array waypoints. Next, going down, uh, where I actually instantiate the uh, object, comment that out. So we won't use that. And instead, do this. Game object go is equal to cast it uh, game object instantiate uh, object to spawn comma spawn position comma my transform dot rotation. So it's exactly the same thing, except this time we just keep a reference to what we instantiated. Okay, next, after that, now we need to get into uh, the business of assigning waypoints. And I do that by, first of all, just checking that the array actually has something in it. So if waypoints.length is uh, greater than zero, then if the object instantiated go.getComponent NPC state pattern is not equal to null, so that means it is actually an NPC, so we check that because, you know, it could be anything getting spawned. So first just check it's an NPC. If it is, then go.getComponent NPC state pattern dot waypoints is equal to waypoints because that's an array, though waypoints, as you can see in the uh, field that, I mean, the information that that's popped up there, uh, that's a, that's an array of transform and the waypoints variable here is also an array transform. So it automatically just gets nicely assigned over. So save, save that. That's all good. And we can go to Unity, go over to the spawn object, and there you go. You can now see uh, the waypoints here. And uh, let's go ahead and assign these waypoints. I'll just uh, lock that. Shift select all of those and drop them in. There we go. We've got our waypoints. And uh, I can I can pretty much get rid of um, uh, I can pretty much get rid of the uh, NPCs as we have it. I can't actually remember what I gave them as their waypoints, but you could create, of course, different waypoint groups uh, as you like, or you can assign uh, different waypoints to it as well. So I can't remember what I actually assigned as the uh, waypoints for this character. Oh, it looks like I did give him a full list uh, for the evil maxes. But what about the uh, golems? Oh, the golems are just wondering, I remember now. And the friendly maxes are just following. So all good now. Uh, so that with that clarified, 
Uh, let's, uh, I guess, go ahead and don't do that. So for the golems, just set it back to zero because I don't want them uh, to actually have uh, any waypoints. I wanted them to just be wandering. And I'm just going to duplicate the spawn and just bring it over and uh, then bring in the waypoints. Probably it would have been smarter to just, uh, oops, just uh, keep the assigned ones and then just uh, reset the original one. But anyhow, uh, coming back, I'm going to call this spawn evil max, just so I remember what it is. Evil max. Okay, good. I'll get rid of all of the evil maxes here and the other one too. Good. And uh, coming back here to the spawn, I'll just call this spawn a golem. And I've got this uh, locked, so I might as well go to the uh, prefab NPC and drop on uh, evil max right here. And no, not 10. That's too many. Maybe say five, but they're pretty dangerous, as you already know. And uh, well, let's go ahead and see that in action. So I'll save my scene. Unlock this as well. Good. And just jump in. All right. Very, very good. Oh, there you go. The evil maxes are going to their first waypoint. And uh, well, our guys are off to fight against the uh, golems. And there you go. Evil maxes have now detected uh, the golems. And they're heading towards that. And boy, they are dangerous for the player. Our guys are making very short work of these uh, golems. And uh oh, evil maxes have detected our guys and are about to shoot them up. Uh, whoops, which they have totally. Okay, well, that is it. So that was how you assign uh, waypoints rather, rather easily. It was very simple. So thank you for watching, and I will see you later.